Amen. Do you know if a teacher walk up to you and is teaching you and you don't put the garment of teacher or teaching on the ground, you will not learn what the teacher is teaching? Many of us, because we are a driver, we believe that no other driver can teach us how to drive. That is a mistake we are making. Are you there? Your mother has the right. She can teach you in the kitchen how many cubes of Maggi is supposed to be put in a pot of beans. But don't say, Mom, I know. No. By trying to justify, you will miss the point. That's all. That's all. And we don't compare physical things with spiritual things. I have something I always tell you. If I walk up to you, and you know, not all brains are the same. Some, they have what we call low level of retentive memory. Are you there? Some of us, we don't know our phone numbers offhand. Some of us, we don't know the number of our ID cards offhand. Some of us, you know your ID card number, that of your wife. And some of you women in church, you know exactly when your first child was born, second their date and day. But some men, parents, they don't know. Now, I want to relate it to something. When you see I talk to you and I say think, I understand brains are not the same. There are students that they don't need to read. Once you teach in class, they don't need to revise. If you can teach now and bring a question the next day, take them by surprise, they are ready for examination. Then there are other students, you need to announce three weeks in advance. And even after three weeks in advance, they will not still make it. We have students that they are being promoted on trial from form one to form five to the right of GC. So the school must understand that they need to keep on doing what? Pushing till they get to the final examination class. Now, when a message is being given, do not be quick to say, I cannot remember. Do not be quick. The Bible says in James, be slow to speak, but on the other hand, be swift to listen. Be swift. Be very sharp and fast to receive the message, but be slow to speak. Many of us, by talking too fast, we have uttered words that we have end up involving ourselves in problems that we need to justify to come out from that situation. As a man who is intelligent and wise, learn to speak slowly and make sure you reason before you speak. That's all. And the devil is always eager. To, to get your plans. Most of us, what is in your mind? If the major prophet comes to you and is saying something else, for you to cut the matter short and say what brought you, 
You just need to tell him. I cannot remember. Man of God, what brought me here is God may realize what brought you here is not what is tying you down. But what he's saying is what is hindering you from achieving his plan for your life. 